Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now, I happen to be using Photoshop Elements 14, but this will work in various versions back through 11. Uh, so if you have those versions and have this tool, you're going to be okay and good to go. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to duplicate the background layer by using Command or Control J. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to play around a little bit with adding some elements to our photos. And I'm going to blow this up a little bit by using my Alt key on the Mac here. And we're going to just blow this up to here. Now, what I wanted to show you how to do is pretty cool, actually. Um, it allows us to select certain areas by using the Modify, the Content Aware Move tool. Okay, so the Content Aware Move tool. What we're going to do is we're going to add some of these trees that's not here. We're going to fill this in a little bit and make it a little bit harder for these golfers to golf, right? A little bit of fun here today. And this can be used for adding people to photos, moving people from one place to another, and so forth and so on. So to modify the Content Aware Move tool, click on that. Down at the bottom here, it's going to show either a new uh, add, because you can add, subtract, and intersect. We're just going to add some new here for this particular lesson. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a, a clump of trees right about in here from these trees. Okay, so we're basically duplicating these trees is what you're going to do. So to do that, all you have to do first of all is make a selection around these trees. All right, just something like this. And just something like this here. We're just going to make a little selection around the trees. That should be pretty good for this lesson. All right. So there is a selection of those trees. Now, if you click on your move tool, you can see now where the box is selected and it, it, it's, the trees are there. We can actually move this to one side or the other. All right, so let's say we're gonna move this back into this dirt area right about there, kind of line the dirt up, okay? And at that point, you're gonna hit enter. And it is there, okay? What we're gonna do first though, before we hit enter and close this out, we are gonna do a command or control J and we're going to have another selection of trees. Okay, so here's another selection of trees we can move around. And we're going to move these ones down here in this dirt area right about there just to line the dirt up. Do Command or Control J once again. And you can do this as many times as you want to add as many clumps of trees as you'd like to have in there. Yeah, it's really up to you, however you want to do this. Uh, we'll bring it maybe more on this side, just like so. Then we'll click OK. So you see here where we just added a row of trees that weren't there, okay? Now, if, for in fact, you can see here around the trees where we have a little bit of that clear space where I cut that out, well, it's not that hard to take care of that. We take care of that by using our good old favorite tool, the layer mask. So we'll click on this uh, particular layer here that we did, and we're going to go up and add a layer mask. There's our layer mask, okay? Then what we'll do here is we'll come over and select a brush tool. And all we're going to do is use my left bracket key, close that down a little bit. And we're just going to clean this up a little bit. Just go right around the top of this here. Whoops. Right around the inside here a little bit. And right around this side here. Very easy to do. Clean this up a little bit. Get it all cleaned up there. Clean this side up. Just like so. Really easy to do. Piece of cake. And I just go around and clean each one of these up. Okay, just clean them up a little bit. If the opacity seems too high, drop the opacity down a little bit. It will make your brush a little lighter, actually, so you won't take a whole lot of that out of there. Uh, the brush size can also be raised right here. Obviously, you can see that. The brush size will be bigger or smaller. There you go. And to do the next one, do the same thing. Click on that top one. Click on a new layer mask. Okay, and you're going to go around this one over here that we did, or this last one here, right there. Okay, we can clean that one up. All right. To clean this one up in the middle, this is actually laying on this layer right here. So again, you'd want to layer mask on there, and you can clean that one up. Just by going in there and get it all cleaned up there. Piece of cake. Get it cleaned up right like this. So, there you have it. Very easy. All right. 
Okay, folks. So if you like this little video tutorial on using the Content Aware Move tool, a nice way to use it there, you may want to check out my lessons at jtclearning.com, jtclearning.com. We have Photoshop Elements 12, 13, and now 14, uh, all complete courses. You can take either one of those, whichever one you would like to take. You can take them all if you wish. I mean, um, I would suggest to take the one uh, closest to the version that you have would be the best bet. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Content Aware Move tool. And I'll talk to you uh, in our next session. Take care. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.